Good morning, everybody. It is about eight o'clock in the morning right now. I slept super great. It's warm outside. I think we're ready to hit the road. Did I say that we were gonna be leaving? I meant that I'm gonna sit here on my phone for the next 45 minutes. You know, it's getting warmer outside, so I think I'm gonna start using my black jacket again rather than the puffy red one. This one has a cool feature where it can literally stuff itself in its own pocket. And then you just got a little ball. I'm gonna put this in the back. If it gets cold again, we can use it. Good morning, everybody. We have like three and a half hours of driving left. We will probably end up coming across McDonald's here pretty soon. So I just rolled my window down and it looks like my tint is uh, coming up a little bit. You guys will get to see what it looks like to actually tint a window. I still have the tint in my trunk. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna rip this off. I just realized I might've made a critical mistake. There was a gas station back there, but I'm like, oh no, nah, we'll find a gas station later. We have a quarter of a tank and we are in the middle of the fucking desert. Fucking rip. God, this is driving me nuts. Like every time I try to look out my rear view mirror, it's just like cut in half. There were some gas stations here once upon a time, but they're all dilapidated now. Oh wait, no, Google says there's a gas station in 11 miles. We're good. It's an Allsup's too, and Allsup's has the best fucking burritos. It's crazy how like everything in this part of the country is run down and basically abandoned. The gas station is up ahead and I'm terrified how expensive the gas is gonna be out here in the middle of nowhere. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Allsips. Allsips is the regional gas station convenience store in New Mexico, and they are known for having really good burritos. There are no discounts here for us, so we need to pay full price. They don't even have 91 octane. Their premium is just 90, and it's $3.50 a gallon. Stupid fast car needing good gas. Allsips does give free air though, so if you need air in your tires, you don't need to pay fucking two dollars for it. 40 bucks for a full tank. Apparently they want us to go inside to get the receipt. Hello, can I get two beef and bean burritos and the receipt for pump 10? Even though I'm not using the, uh, the rewards app thing, I still need the receipt for tax purposes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we should be good to go now. Before we hit the road, I want to show you guys their burritos. They are really fucking good. They're deep fried. Just a sec, I need to show you guys this. This is how they are advertising their motel. They've got cable color TV with direct dial phones. I now understand why this city is basically decrepit. They live in the 19 fucking 40s. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Roswell, New Mexico, home of the aliens. It's honestly super annoying because everybody thinks that there's like conspiracy theories with this town. All this town is is fucking tourist trap bullshit. Like there's a hotel here called Ailey Inn. That's, it's, it's alien. The town is literally just green plastic aliens and puns. If you guys are curious what kind of industries exist out here in the desert, aside from alien tourism, most of it's oil. There's oil fields all out through here in the desert. You might typically imagine that Texas is the oil field place, but New Mexico has a bunch of them too. You also have Los Alamos, which if you guys have seen Oppenheimer is where they tested the first nuclear bomb at. Um, actually, that would be kind of cool. While we're here in New Mexico, we should go check that out. The site of the first nuclear blast. One of the cool parts about being close to oil producing places is the gas is really cheap. This is $2.53 a gallon. That's like 50 cents cheaper than the place we were just at. Okay, we've made it to Carlsbad. This is the same city that I was in when I did the desert homeless challenge last year. This is also where my friend lives. Okay, let's figure out what we're gonna do today. This is gonna sound silly, but I'm actually gonna go into the back of my car so I can use my laptop. Like looking at things on my phone is fine, but it's just easier. 
the desktop experience. Oh my God, hotels in this area are so expensive. I was thinking that I would like stay the night, take a shower before I meet up with my friend, but 70, 87 total, 97 total, 107? Holy fuck. It looks like we're just gonna take a shower at her place. Yep, fuck spending $100 just for a shower. Okay, she just messaged me and said that she is free after three, so we will uh, start door dashing. Okay, I take it back. They won't even let us dash here because apparently we need to schedule it and the earliest we can schedule it for is tomorrow from 12 to 1 p.m. So we can't even do DoorDash. Okay, while we wait for her, we are going to head to Walmart to pick up a kettle. I realized last night that my stove is really good at heating things up, but it's not good at heating up water. We need access to hot water so that we can do laundry, so we can take hot showers, so that we can cook pasta. There's a whole bunch of things that a kettle will help us do. I guess we can also like make tea. We're gonna park toward the back so we don't end up uh, offending anybody with what we're about to do. I'm gonna try to use the kettle to do laundry. Notice this Walmart does not have people with guns guarding the door. I'm not even sure if they sell kettles in America. This is an interesting idea. Get a rice cooker, that's good. I found the teapots, but not the electric kettles. I technically could use this on top of my skillet, but an electric kettle would be much more efficient. Well, look at this. I found a mini toaster oven. That's an idea. I found a mini pancake cooker, but I can't find an electric kettle. They just don't have them. I am legitimately shocked. Oh, I probably need to search in the coffee section. Yep, there we are. 40 bucks though, oof. Then again, a coffee maker is basically the same thing as a kettle, except this also gives me the ability to make coffee if I wanted to. This is basically a kettle. Oh, wait, no, I take this back. This is made out of glass, and I don't want to accidentally have something break in my car, so we're definitely going with the kettle. Just a sec. <laughs> okay. They can have this back now. The reason that I got this one is because it has adjustable temperatures. So if I'm using water for like a shower, I don't want that to be boiling hot. But if I'm using it for noodles, I do. So I need something that I can adjust the temperature for. It's driving itself. Cool. Grab some soap for 97 cents. We will buy the gallon of water here and then we'll just fill this up at sinks or whatever as we travel around. I keep forgetting to pick up carts. I'm gonna steal this person's cart. Okay, let's think about food now. I cannot get any food that needs to be refrigerated, so we need dry stuff like pasta or oatmeal. And when we do need something refrigerated, we'll just pick it up right before we're about to use it. You know, I do wanna get canned food, but I think that I need to go back and I need to get that small little crock pot thing. Yeah, this guy right here. With this, we can cook pretty much any canned food we want. This thing is crazy. Makes me feel like I'm in Japan. We'll grab some rice for three bucks, some beans, and then we'll get some canned soup for when I'm too lazy to actually cook a full meal. Ooh, chili mac, yes, please. It's basically chili and macaroni and cheese, and it's really good. We'll grab some oatmeal and some granola bars or snacks. Okay, I need to do this in two separate transactions. First, we'll start with the business stuff. Yeah. 47 bucks for all of the tools, and now all of the food. $36 on food. Hello. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much. You'll be safe out there. Thank you. The reason we had to do that in two transactions is because I can write off all of the equipment as tax expenses, but I can't write off the food. Let's go ahead and get some laundry washed after we get this put away. So all of the food is just going to go back here in the trunk behind. I will keep the water up here with the washing machine. It's definitely not small, but maybe that's good because it means I can cook a lot of water. It's not a big deal. It fits, so I'm happy. And lastly, we have our little mini rice cooker. This thing is a good size. I wish that the kettle was smaller, honestly. Holy shit, this thing is tiny. This is like the size of my fucking palm. I thought I would be able to like cook cans of food in here, but this is like, we'll make it work. Okay, let's go do some laundry. Let's go get our laundry done. I'm not even sure that this washing machine requires hot water, but we're gonna get hot water anyway. The kettle has this little base plate. This is the actual electrical connection. So we're gonna plug this into the battery, put the kettle on the plate. That looks like it's gonna tip over. Then I think that we just fill it up with water. Oh, 
I really don't want to spill this anywhere. Okay, and then this has settings for us to poke at. Holy shit, this thing takes a bunch of energy. This is 50% more energy than the skillet we were using yesterday to cook the steak. This thing is fucking... Oof. It is heating up very fast though, so that's cool. We're gonna load this thing up with all of our dirty clothes. <laughs> Remember when you're changing clothes to have tinted windows and have them closed. Okay, the water is done cooking and that took like fucking 60 seconds. Crazy how fast this went. Now, I hope this isn't too hot to like melt the plastic because this is cheap plastic. Oh, oh, I've got to plug it up. Otherwise, it's, all this is going to run out. Put the little plug in. I'm going to put some cold water in first just to make sure that the temperature is not too high. There we go. Now for 140 degree water. I can see the steam coming up from here. A little bit more cold water. Put a couple of squirts of soap in because soap is soap is soap. And then plug the washing machine into the battery pack. Lid on and then start, I guess. I'm adding more water. I'm worried if I let go of it, it's gonna knock itself over. We'll just let it run, do its thing. Now I guess I just sit here and wait and monitor it to make sure it doesn't fall. Um, the, the leak thingy leaked. It was totally my fault. I was trying to pull my seat back. This is not because this is cheap plastic. This is because I fucked up. I'm just gonna be fast. Well, in good news, the water is definitely dirty. So this is definitely working. The cycle is done. So now we're gonna drain this. It has the little spout on the back. Ah. And then just because the water is dirty, I think that we're gonna send it through another cycle just for rinsing the clothes off. We have just saved ourselves like $6 by doing this here rather than having to go to a laundromat. But then again, we did have to pay like a dollar for the water. So assuming that we can find free water consistently, we're saving quite a bit of money by washing this ourselves. And then one more time just to rinse it off. I did not realize until right now just how much water it takes to wash clothes. Yep, the water is still definitely dirty, so that is, it is doing something. It is cleaning the clothes. Maybe it's not as good as like an actual washing machine, but it is better than nothing. Um, and I guess that comes down to the question of is $6 worth not having to deal with this shit? I'll keep it. I will use it at least enough times for it to pay for itself. I completely got rid of the drying mechanism because that was just kind of wonky. Um, I don't have a problem wringing my clothes out though. Oh, I can just let them sit here and dry. And then we just compress this down. Well, at the very least, the kettle works beautifully. Stay up. We'll fill this up next time we have access to water and we can use it for like cooking or whatever or more clothes washing. Aside from spilling water, that went fairly well actually. My friend is ready for us though. So my friend has requested that she does not appear in the video. She doesn't want her address being leaked or anything like that. Things I need to remember while I'm here. I need to charge up both of my batteries. I need to get more water. I need to take a shower. And I think I'm good. You look almost unrecognizable. I've been told. <laughs> oh, they even gave me a towel. Cool, 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 cool. Their shower is really complicated. Ah. Ready it up. Okay, so update, I did not get the stuff I'm make sure their door number is not on the... Yeah, okay, so I did not get any of the stuff out of their attic. We ended up playing Fortnite for like five hours straight. Uh, I'll get the stuff out of their attic tomorrow. My batteries are currently in their house charging right now, so I don't have access to my Christmas lights. Um, but we can see... Uh, no, stay on, God damn it! Like, look at this. This is how bright the lights are without my Christmas lights. This is, this is not something I can film in. Um, they've been here for a couple of hours. They're kind of dry. No, the socks are definitely not dry. 
Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Good night, everybody. Because there's no light, you can't fucking see shit anyway.